Uh, okay, water. I got this core organic. What is it? Uh, it's supposed to be a uh, tropical coconut. Yeah. Here, I'm reading the thing. Uh, let me see what it says. Filtered water, organic coconut water from concentrate. Wait, let me stop right there. Nah, I'm sorry. Anytime you see something that says from concentrate, yeah, I'm not with it. You know what I mean? I'm not with it at all. You know why? Because you can put anything from concentrate. They mean they concentrate. They, they can put some something sugar. Well, I don't. They can put stuff in there. Yeah. So I'm not with it. You know what I mean? So I'm a bye bye. I need to drink something like that. Now I know y'all. Let me put my glasses on. I know you said what the hell? Did, I hear some. I hear something. Yeah, you're in the background. That's my brother. It's Gregory, my older brother. About two and a half years. We just found him. We'll talk to him another time. He, you know, hand me, hand me the box. Because I'm at my sister's house. I just came down. His story is amazing. We'll get to it another time. But at my, at my sister's house, uh, what happened was, uh, this is my uh, address, you know, that, that I use here. This is my legal address in the States, right? And I, stuff gets sent. Anyway, see? Here it said, no more radio. I got a no more radio, package for no more radio right there. I don't know why I'm covering up my address, but... Anyway, what did I get? Ta da! When I first came about the in July, I ordered. Uh, I ordered. Oh, it came here. Uh, compensatory concept. You know, the United Independent Compensatory Code System concept. A compensatory counter racist code by um, uh, copyright. This is 2016. Mr. Nilly Fuller Jr. I had quartered one because I was going to take it back to Africa, right? And, but I didn't get the word guide. So I looked at my budget, because now I'm leaving. Now I see what, how much money I got left over, right? And so I ordered this, and this is the word guide. So these two are going to Africa with me. But however, the reason why I ordered this again, even though this is like the third guy, third, third copy, because I have the original down in Africa right now. So I'm going to take a, a new one, right? Don't worry, we'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. But the reason why I ordered another one of these is because I'm leaving this one or the other one, whatever, new one. With my brother here, Gregory. He's going to have this. And he's going to... Now, the way we read this, I treat it like a Bible. I, I shouldn't say it that way because it confused people. But I just treat it like a reference book. Every once in a while, you just open to a page like that. And you just read with us on it. And this is under this is under Area area 8, Sex. Question. According to the compensatory uh, racist logic, or uh, counter-racist logic, when and how should sexual intercourse, sexual play... Or intimate sexual communications take place between non-white males and non-white females. That would be like black people, right? Okay, okay. Uh, uh, compensatory, constructive, carnal communications. That's the question. Answer: It is correct for such interaction to take place in accordance with one or more of the following. Then you start listening. So that's what you do. So you just read. So you just read that thing for the for the for the day. You know. So. There it is in black right there. Then these, these these are the answers that he gives, right? And that's all. You don't go start reading like, like read like some fiction novel. Then um, you know they have. So that's how you read it. So I'm gonna leave this with Gregory. And every once in a while, I, I read I read from you know from the book where I'm giving one of these commentaries. And but he'll read on his own whatever he wants to read, right? Because you gotta always expand the knowledge. Because this man, what he doing now? The boy listening to TV. <laughs> and you know TV they don't tell you that, especially down here. Like for instance. I asked him about the politics, man. And they, he old man. You know, when I say old man, like, okay, it's not that old. They're like 72, like, like whatever it is. But the point is, you know, but he's, like, he's, 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 he's enamored with Biden. But the reason why he's enamored with Biden because that's what he see on TV. They don't be showing those other people. He don't, you know, he don't know nothing about them. But he going to learn. That's right. Okay. So anyway, so as you can see, also came, uh, came is my, uh, is I ordered from uh, Tariq the, uh, Foundational, what does that say, Gregory? You can't read from over there. You're, yeah, you, you, you foundation national. Na, na, uh, foundation, and it looks like national right there. That's good. Yeah. Foundational, yeah. What does it say on the bottom there? Black Americans. There you go. I yeah. thought you had cataracts, but he's a cataracts. Right? So <laughs> I got this t shirt only because it has my. It has some people that I know on this t shirt. What I'm saying, no, no. Foundation national. <laughs> yeah, that's what it said. Foundational, yeah. Yes, Harriet Tubman, okay, right there. 
uh, 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 was it Dr. Francis Cus Wilson right there? And one of my personal heroes, Ida B. Wells. And I tell you, we're down in Virginia. You know, when 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 when, our, when your niece, our niece, you know, mm-hmm. had a baby, right? No, so when my sister, our sister had a baby, our yeah. niece, right? Yeah. When she was young, I was down here, and she had to do a report at school. You know, one of those those February reports. So I and and then people pick then they pick like Harry Tubman, whatever have you. Yeah. I had her pick Ida B. Wells because you know I, I'm a journalist. I'm into journalism, right? So she went in, she did a report, and didn't know Ida B. Wells like that. So I've been, I, that was in the '90s. So I did I was one time. Uh, who is this? Oh, Martin Luther King. Of course, the great Doc Henry Clark walking among the giants right there. And Frederick Douglass. There was a thing in community radio one time that if he was really a community radio station, you always have to have a picture of, of uh, Frederick Douglass someplace in your community radio station. And then it was the thing where, you know, you had a picture uh, a picture of Frederick Douglass. Some people had a picture of, of, of Che Guevara, but then you have a picture of Amir Abul Jamal. That means he was a, cre- a real... Uh, Major radio station, so I, I got it because I love I love this kind of just a beautiful color. I got that, and I just like the pictures on it, right? So I got Tariq's Tariq's thing. You know, I do Tariq as, as communications, but but here's the thing. Let me show you something. Great, we pay attention. So, hat my wife made. You know, I'm gonna see my wife pretty soon. A few days or less than a week. That's gonna be nice. <clears throat> gonna be nice for both of us. I ain't seen her in a while. Hey, like that. And under here, what do I have? Lord it be. Da-da, hashtag ADOS. <laughs> the American descendants of slavery. What does it say there now? Politics is an exchange, not a gift. So, let's say, wait, wait a second. So, fashion, I used to read. But for politics, nah. Gotta use ADOS. Why? Because that's the way it is. You know, we look, if you're black, First of all, black people, like I said, black people don't want to be wrong or wronged, right? So, 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 so what that means is that I ain't wrong. That's right. They, 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 people be fine. I don't care what they're talking about, right? Politically, I use ADOS. So, you know, c- culturally, whatever. I'll even go to this little conference in, in Atlanta if I can get, yeah, I'll go to this conference. Why? Not because I want to, I want to see what's happening to other black people, right? But also, my man... Uh, Nelson lived down last. So I just go visit Nelson. Yeah, I'll crash at his place. I'm, you know, something like that. So, and I may go to the conference. See what happens. I read, I did the Indiegogo campaign. So, so I'm not playing both games. Games against the middle. I just like I have these. It's a lane, you know. It's a train track. Well, it's, it's, it's lanes, and I can jump lanes if I want. I'm riding. I'm riding this vehicle on the vehicle. I'm riding this vehicle if I want to go over here for a second. Do that. I want to go over here for a second. I do that. But I'm always me in the center. You see? That's my core. So, so I'm happy. I'm happy because uh, my brother's, I see my brother only for a couple of days because then I got to split. I get on an airplane and go. Uh, and I got I got all that I need. I think I'm almost finished with the stage. I got a few more, a couple of more things I got to do. So that's it. Just a little tiny report of a happy peppy. That would be me from, um, you know, me in a reality of the A-D-O-S. That would be the American descendants of chattel slavery, the North American descendants of chattel slavery. 